All right, this is fourth grade, module three, lesson 11. And in this lesson, we're gonna be connecting the area model to the other methods that we've been learning, which are the partial products method and the standard algorithm. The, you know, the interesting thing about this lesson as well is even though the objective doesn't say so, students are also gonna be introduced to the distributive property for recording their thinking. So here it says solve the following expression. So there's a bunch of them, but we're just going to solve this one using, and then it says the standard algorithm, the partial products method, and the area model, plus not to mention that we've got the distributive property here. So they basically want us to do everything for each one of these problems. So teachers, keep that in mind when you have your students doing these homework problems, that one problem is really four problems all in one. The standard algorithm, the partial products, the area model, and the distributive property. So keep that in mind. Let's keep our homework, if we even assign it at all, let's at least keep it a reasonable length. So I'm going to start with the area model. And the idea would be we've got this rectangle, and it's a unit, it's nine units high. That's because we've got the nine here. And then we're going to break up and decompose that 593 into 590 and 3. Now teachers, they made these units um, kind of proportional. They made the 3 really small and the 500 really big. You don't have to do that. You could just make all three of these the exact same size and let the mathematics represent what the rectangles really mean. We don't have to be so literal and make the three a really skinny rectangle, but um, food for thought. So anyway, we're going to find the area of this rectangle, and that's length times width. So 9 times 500, we know, is 4,500. From previous lessons, we know that 9 times 5 is 45, and then the trick is that we could just add in those two extra zeros. And then over here, this rectangle is length of 9, width of 90. So that means 9 times 90 is 810. So we know that the area of this rectangle has an area of 810 square units. This has an area of 4,500 square units. And then this rectangle is 9 times 3, which is 27. I'm going to squeeze that in. 27 square units. So down here in the distributive property, what they want us to write is 9 is being multiplied against 500, 9, 90, and 3. All right, so that's what that part is. Now right here, they want us to show that what did we do? Well, we did 9 times 500, so I'll squeeze that in here. 9 times 500, and then... 9 times 90, and finally 9 times 3. Now they leave it off, but really we should continue, label that 4,500 plus 810 plus 27, and now we're going to add these three numbers. But I'm going to hold off on adding these numbers because we're going to do the standard algorithm and the partial products. And when we get our answer there, I'll go ahead and write it over here for this distributive property. So let's start off by doing the partial products because I think students might find that perhaps the easiest, even though it's not exactly the most efficient of the techniques. So the partial products method is saying, okay, 9 times 3 ones is 27 ones, so I'm going to write 27 ones. How did I get that? I did 9 times 3. Then we've got 9 times 9 tens, so that's going to be 81 tens. So that's really 810, and that we got by doing 9 times 90. And then lastly, we're going to do 9 times 500. And what is 9 times 500? Well, that's 45 hundreds. 45 hundreds. And now we can 
add those together. And when we add them together, let's see, adding the ones, we get seven. Adding the tens, we've got three tens. Adding the hundreds, we get thirteen hundreds, which is three, carry the one. And lastly, we've got adding the thousands, we've got five thousand, so we get five thousand three hundred thirty-seven, which means over here, our sum would also be 5,337. So what have we done so far? We've done the partial products, we've done the area model, we've also done the distributive property. Now we have to do just that standard algorithm. So we've got 593 multiplied by 9 using that standard algorithm. So let's do that. So 9 times 3 ones is 27 ones. So the 7 is going to go there, and the 2, as in the two tens, is going to be carried. Teachers, remember, we're, Eureka wants us to carry down here rather than up here. Kind of makes sense because it looks more like a 27. So then, then we have 9 times 9 tens, so that's going to be 81 tens plus two more tens, so that's 83 tens. So that's going to be an 8 and 3. See, there's our 83. So you've got three tens, and you carry the 80 tens into the hundreds column, and you have eight hundreds. All right. And now uh, here, 9 times 5 hundreds gives us 45 hundreds, plus eight more hundreds, that's 53 hundreds. So once again, we see all three cases, we get the exact same answer, which is 5,337. So teachers, please keep in mind one last time on this problem. Students are, are going to have to solve each problem four times. To, so take that into consideration when you assign your homework. Here they're specifically, for some reason, asking us to use the partial products method. To be honest, teachers, you know, let students choose their method. If they want to use the partial products method or the standard algorithm or even the area model that we're now learning, let the students choose the method at this point. Down the road, we're going to want students to be using the standard algorithm, but right now I think it's, it's fine to allow students to choose whatever method they want. I think I'm going to do, oh, let's do the area model on this, just because I want to be disagreeable. So I'm going to model this 457 up here. Oops, I said 57. I meant 475. There's my 475. And my length here, I'm going to model that as 4. All right, so there's the 4. And now multiplying, this rectangle has a length of 4, a width of 400 for an area of 1,600 square units, a length of 4, width of 70 for an area of 280 square units, lastly a length of 4 and a width of 5 for 20 square units. Now we're going to add those partial products together, 1,600 plus 280, plus 20, we're going to add these together. Adding our ones place, we get zero. Adding our tens place, we get 10. So that's going to be zero. Carry the one into the next column. Adding our hundreds place, we get nine. And lastly, adding our thousands place, we get one. So the answer is 1,900 people. And really, we should use the label, people. All right. Now, if we wanted to see what the standard algorithm would look like, 475 times 4. 4 times 5 is 20. There's the 2. There's the 0. 4 times 7 tens is 280. So it would be 28 tens. So there's the, oh, but don't forget, that's 28 
tens plus the two. So that's 30 tens. So I'm going to put a three and a zero. And then four times 400 is 1,600 plus three. So that's 1,900. And there's our answer. Same exact answer over here. So students have a choice here, the area model or the standard algorithm. And the last problem for this video, I chose this one because it's kind of tricky. Cafeteria makes 2,516 pounds of white rice, 608 pounds of brown rice, and after six months, how many pounds of rice did the cafeteria make? So the first thing we're going to have to do is add 2,516 plus 608. Adding the ones, we get 14, carry the one. Adding the tens, we get two. Adding the hundreds, we get 11, carry the one. And then adding the thousands, we get three. So that's 3,124 pounds of rice every month. Now we need to multiply by six because it says so right here. After six months, how many pounds of rice does the cafeteria make? So now we're going to multiply. Six times four is 24. Six times two tens, that's 12 tens, plus two more, and that's 14 tens. So that's going to be a four, carry the one. Six times 100, that's six hundreds, plus one more is seven hundreds. No carrying left needed there. And then lastly, six times 3,000 gives us 18,000. And so there's our answer, 18,744 pounds of rice. And that wraps up 4th grade Module 3 Lesson 11, where we are using the area model, partial products, standard algorithm, even the distributive property to multiply.